Holy f Today is gonna be a crazy day. Obviously you guys know we're in New York City if you've been paying attention to my social media and if you guys have been watching the vlogs. Before we even start the day, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who has continued to support, who has stuck with the crew. I appreciate you guys because to me, this journey is just starting and today is gonna be one of those days where it's like it goes in the in the in the history books for the crew and um, I'm excited for you guys to be watching this obviously you guys might know what it is from the title and whatnot but we're in New York man and um, we're here for this uh, shout out to sneaker con as always you know I like I've been telling you guys we've been working on this app and uh, I've been promoting it with them and, and trying to get you guys to download it so I really 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 need you guys to go download it right now it's in the description box down below unfortunately it's only for iOS right now but it is coming for Android soon we have a few hours until we have to meet up with our guests or we're his guest actually but we have a few hours until then so until then you know the typical sneaker spots we got to hit up in New York City we're going around to first then we're gonna hit up like stadium goods a few other places to kill some time and then it starts so let's go okay guys we just got to round two and within like a few minutes I see these and um, this is what I needed. I, these were released I believe today at 21 Mercer or Nike Lab, whatever they call it now. These are just so fire bro. I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on these. It's so hot, it's worse than Cali guys. Everybody says oh I always wear sweaters in California. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Bro, New York is scorching hot right now, bro. What is this? But low key, if I can convince Mina, we need to live in New York for at least a month. Because just in this one day that we're here, there's so many things that could happen. But we're only here for like a day and a half, so. Okay, I'm gonna be outside waiting. Can you drop us off to the office? Yeah, yeah. All right, say no more. We coming. All right, guys, we are going, finally. I never thought I would step foot in this place. I'm gonna say it now, because I gotta play cool when I'm there. I can't say it in front of, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God. We're going to Casey Neistat's office right now. We're gonna go film with him and we're gonna do a series called Copper Drop. So let's go, man. I'm excited. Let's do this. Shout out to Stance, by the way. I'll, I'll show you guys all the Stance stuff later tonight. So we gotta go. <laughs> straight up, bro. Straight up. You think I'm joking? Think I'm joking. This video that we're doing is a series on the sneaker con. It's gonna be on the sneaker con channel and app and whatnot where we ask him whether he would cop or drop certain shoes. Now, Casey, he's been on sneaker shopping with Joe LaPuma. He's also done a video with like, I think it was Hype Beast. They found him randomly and he talked about the Triple S Balenciaga shoes. And he's had his fair share of Hype Beast moments. So we'll talk to him about that in the vlog, hopefully. But for the most part, this is what we're doing. Is it right here? Yeah, it's right here. This really? Door. I thought it was like a side street or something. No, it's right here. Oh, sick, right? 2013. That's when they started, off point. That's when they started? Yeah. Virgil. Alright guys, welcome to another Cop or Drop. And today's guest, we have the one, the only, Casey Neistat. You ready? Ready. You've had some moments where you've shown some sneakers, you've had your fair share of hype beast moments, right? Look at that. Calabasas. <laughs> <laughs> These might be my favorite. <laughs> Without even touching them, I go to a real quick drop. Why? Like, I know my, you don't like the wave My runners. G, Sam has these. My good friend Sam has these. I think it's a lot of sneaker to have on your foot. You think so? That's a lot of rubber and a lot of plastic. I think that's why I like the Calabasas so much. It's such an understated shoe. Off-white Converse. Oh, come on. This is like some of the most greatest. This is a cop. You like it? It's a definite cop. I just think that like when you hand somebody a blank slate, mm -hmm. like an, like an all-star high top, there's not a lot of places you can go with it. But Virgil took this to a place that I, I, I could never imagine in my creative brain. And I think it's unlike any sneaker that's ever been put out there. And yeah, I think that like I, this belongs, to quote the great Indiana Jones, this belongs in a museum. For sure. Do you know Virgil? Have you met him? Any connection there or no? No, just a big fan. Big fan just Virgil. Big you gotta fan. send my man some pairs, man. Yeah, Virgil, send me one of everything. <laughs> I gotta show you my car wrap. I just got my car wrap. So, actually, let me show you right now. Let me see your car wrap. Are you fucking kidding me? Has Virgil seen it? No. Dude, how do you drive around Los Angeles Dude, in a car like that? Is it chrome? Yeah, it's chrome. Fuck, man. Sick? It's insane. <laughs> it's madness. <laughs> 
Next time you come to LA, let me know. I'll take you I'll for take a ride. A, I'll take a spin in this. So I want to show you the chip here. So a little bit of technology with the SneakerCon app. So it's like a buying and selling app. You could buy it, you ship it to SneakerCon. They authenticate it because fakes are just insane these days. But basically this is the tag they put on there. And all you gotta do is open the app. All right, so you scan it, it comes through. So it tells you it's legit. And then you get a big fat notice that says legit. It tells you the shoe. It tells you the info, the shoe size, the condition. So if it's worn new, and then it tells you obviously the future sneaker con events. Just basically with so many fakes out these days that when you get your shoe authenticated or you sell it through the app, when it has that, you know it's real. And then if you, if you try to take it off or put it on another shoe, it just doesn't work. Amazing. Yeah. I want to get this on everything I own. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you had some fun there. I feel like, do you want to go buy some more shoes? Yeah, it was a little stressful. <laughs> it was a little stressful. It was a lot of fun. Oh man, let me tell you guys, right off the bat, Casey was the nicest guy yeah. ever. Super dope, super talk. You should film yourself too, because you, you were with me like, he was just so cool, like straight up. Like he was straight like, up well, talked to us about, yeah. we can't even say what he talked to us about. <laughs> like, you know how companies send them products? Like he was showing us this new product. It is so amazing, like super, super dope, man. Being in that studio was unbelievable. Obviously, like I didn't want to like vlog vlog, so we just had the video that we had planned already filmed. So you guys saw some clips from that, but amazing experience. If you're like, if you were on YouTube for like as long as he has, and like I've been watching for like, for like five years now on YouTube. Like just being in the studio alone makes you feel like you're just like, you're in like YouTube history. Right? Yeah, like everything you looked, you looked around and you would be like, I remember seeing that, I remember seeing, that. it's like insane. But <laughs> but it was cool, uh, we got to see 368 too. Yeah, we went to 368. Yeah. We saw the freaking office, the back of the office. We like saw all the people in the- Anything we wanted to do, he's like, yeah, go for it. Do yeah. this, do that, touch this. Like, he, <laughs> there was one point where I needed a tripod because we didn't have a tripod. And he's like, yeah, go grab it from the back. So I go in the without back. Without him going with you too. Yeah, without me going, I'm just looking around like, oh my God, like <laughs> any camera over the last 10 years was literally in there. Not even the last, the ones that haven't even came out too. It's and insane. It's, I mean, you guys know me like I've like, when I started doing the sneaker content, I, I, I found his content and I really fell in love with his style of vlogging. So for me to, after watching all his videos and basically him being like a, a mentor in a sort of way without him actually knowing like it was amazing for me to be there and this is just like i don't even think it hit me but it hit me hard it's it's amazing bro <laughs> so shout out to casey huge shout out to sneaker con for setting this up because yeah. without sneaker con it wouldn't have happened so everybody needs to asap go download that download app, the app asap because the more downloads the app gets the more dope collabs we're going to be doing and the more dope shit we get to do around the world so Let's make this app poppin', man. Download it right now, SneakerCon app. All right, guys, so we are back at the hotel right now, and today has just been so exhausting, but it has been in an amazing day, as you guys can see already. Like, bruh, like, wow. Guys, I cannot wait for you guys to see this whole video that we dropped with Casey. Again, huge shout out to Casey, but quickly, I wanna show you guys everything that I copped today. Um, the only thing that I actually, well, let me just show you guys right now. All right, so since we're in New York, you know, we had to cop this right here, the New York Post Supreme newspaper. Um, this was actually given to me by a sneaker store. I forgot what the store was called. I went to Bape. I caught this Bape shirt right here. As you guys can see, it's got like that orange camo. I copped that because I want to wear it in my picture with these right here. The Justin Timberlake Tinker Hatfield Jordan 3s right here. These are just absolutely fire. Like I want to do a full video on these, not a full video, but I want to do a whole segment on these. But the thing is like the lining is way too orange in here for a sneaker review. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll, I'll give you guys a detailed look of this. Like this shoe is so fire in my opinion. Copped a blue Gatorade. And then yeah, I went to Stance. I copped a whole bunch of socks. I got some Tupac socks for my little niece. I got a whole bunch of ankle socks, just some random things, some boxers, some stuff that I showed you earlier. I kind of like these ones these are a little bit different um but yeah i got the uncle drew socks like this is one that i always see at like foot lockers and i've always wanted it so i was able to cop this but yeah man we're still out here in new york we still have one well we don't have a full day tomorrow we leave tomorrow night but i'm gonna take advantage of being here because we leave like late tomorrow night so we have a whole day i'm gonna be filming like two videos tomorrow so while we're out here we're banging out content i love you guys i'm gonna rest a little bit like i said and then we'll check in with yeah, that was a really bad transition. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut it off here. <laughs> <laughs>